I know this is going to come as a big shocker to you, Aaron. There's not a ton of journalistic integrity over there at MSNBC. No. One of their, yeah, it's true. One of their analysts actually tweeted this picture of a crowded Miami beach calling the beachgoers COVIDians with another MSNBC contributor that piled on. Um, the only problem is that picture is from 2019. But once corrected, the analyst ensured Twitter that the old misleading photo was not the point. You know, the facts really don't matter here. Uh, joining us now to break down the hypocrisy is the host of America First on Salem Radio and former White House advisor to President Trump, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. <laughs> Thank you, Sean Spicer well, it's, and Erin. Uh, it's, it's the March Madness in me that's going. Well, I, I don't know anything about March Madness, but I do know that you are the good doctor. If Jill can be a doctor, you're a lifesaver as well, Dr. Gorker. It's always a pleasure to have you. So you've seen the picture, okay? It's people reveling in Miami, having a good old time. And, of course, over to MSNBC. Oh, the shame. They're covid idiots. And like we said, this photo is from 2019, but there's no contrition. There's no remorse. Do you find it dangerous that these mainstream media hacks, if you will, are just putting out these pictures and not apologizing and the American people just are forced to deal with it? No, look, uh, let's, let's say we're real. Let's say that that was a real photograph from now. It still is a problem. Why? Because I didn't see one shaming tweet from anybody in the mainstream media about Black Lives Matter, right. about the BLM protests. I didn't see anything about, oh, hang on a second, they're not cages, they're pods, but there's 400 illegal immigrants squashed into a place that isn't a detention facility now. It is an influx center. These people are such propagandists. Yep. Every single time when I come on the show, I, I just have to reiterate, we can't call them journalists. No. The truth doesn't matter. It's always narrative, narrative, narrative. And can I turn this story into a political weapon? Yes. Absolutely. And that happened when Biden won, you know, the presidency. You also have people outside dancing in the streets packed together like sardines. But that doesn't spread COVID. That's completely OK. But switching gears a little, Dr. Gorker, Steve Krakauer of Fourth Watch did an interesting comparative analysis of how CNN covered Trump's West Point ramp slash handrail issue versus Biden's triple, triple <laughs> stairfall on Air Force One. Take a listen, then I want your feedback. President Trump is not known for being athletic, so maybe he just has a hard time going down a gently sloping ramp. There's no indication, however, that the ramp was slippery on a clear, sunny day. Trump and his allies have suggested that Biden has lost a step, and they have done so not very subtly. But it is absolutely harder to make that case when we see video like this, where the president himself uh, is having momentary uh, stumbles, uh, momentary lapses, and you know, it looks straining for a word or whatever uh, it might be. So, Dr. Gorka, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> Strain, straining for a word. Can we just have a reality check? Donald Trump gave 20-minute presses on his way to Marine One, standing on the South Lawn, giving impromptu press briefings. We are, what, in day 63, 63 of this administration, and we still don't have a press conference from sleepy, creepy Biden. This is a joke. You look, our oh, Sean, Sean's right there. I think we're about the same age. Don't you admit that if we had half of the energy that the 74-year-old Donald Trump has, we would be doing just fine? The, the guy, you can attest to this, the guy is a force of nature. Yeah. And compare him to a dude who goes to bed at 7 p.m., <laughs> come on, guys. It, it was all, I, I honest God, I always tell people, keeping up with that guy, you don't keep up with him. You just try to, <laughs> no. try to draft and live, live, you know, do it. Um, did, sure. did, did, you ever see, did you ever see him say, because I didn't, I was in the Oval often enough. Did you ever see him say, guys, I need to take a nap? Or can you bring me a double espresso? I'm wilting. Did Donald Trump ever say that to you? <laughs> no. In fact, he'd say, you need to take a nap. You look like you can't <laughs> keep up with me. Uh, Seb, I want to show you something. Like, we keep wondering why uh, all of these folks are at our southern border. Um, and it's amazing to me. I, I think it's fascinating. We've seen the interviews. But check this out. They're literally wearing, uh, you know, they've got signs up. I, I, I still don't. I asked this to Aaron before. How do these guys get Biden signs and T-shirts? Um, you're such a conspiracy theorist. That's Photoshop. We're going to ask Brian Stelter. Is that video? Is that photograph? 
Photoshop. Look, you need to know one thing. They say it's humanitarian. They say it's for the children. It is. I saw that the two sheriffs earlier. This is a tragedy. Children being used as pawns, parents giving them into the clutches of the coyotes, girls being raped. This is about one thing and one thing only. They don't care about the human cost. They think they can buy a new voting block and amnesty them all. The level of cynicism, I don't use this word often, but in this case, what they're doing to children, to women and girls, for politics is truly evil. Yeah. I, 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 I'm with you. I, this is motivated politically why they're willing to look the other way. This should never have been an issue. The border and enforcing the border should have always been a, a non-political bipartisan issue. Dr. Seb Gorka, thank you for being with us. Look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless. Thanks, guys. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.